The room you're in is white and very clean. The center table is a hologrammatic display unit, and there are 12 sturdy, simple chairs surrounding the table. There are two individuals occupying two of the chairs. Harper will lay a cigar and just relax in the chair. Nyx is kind of nervously fiddling with their uh, pendant that they have around their neck. Uh, it appears to be uh, a sort of clockwork owl. So, um, yeah, so Nyx is wearing uh, light combat gear. It You can see that the major parts are reinforced, but in between there is leather that is holding it all together so what was your name again i don't think i caught it he takes the cigar out of his mouth harper north yours i go by nix he nods he puts the cigar back in harper looks very calm he has a thick like brown reddish beard just trying to relax and as the two of them settle into sort of an awkward silence. And in walks what could be mistaken for a human from a distance. But as she gets closer, she is quite obviously an L host, an artificial body. Uh, she's got quite pale skin and her hair is actually also white but her eye implants are bright green so they stand out fairly well she <laughs> looks pretty business like with a black jacket and pants on but the one thing that stands out is a small plush rabbit hanging from her jacket that looks almost like a keychain and she will stride up to they're sitting at a table or where are they sitting? Yes, there are 12 chairs around the table. 12 chairs, great, with two people. And we're sitting as far away as... <laughs> really? Are you at opposite ends of the table? <laughs> she will stride up to the table. Good afternoon, are you prepared for the briefing? Alif. Correct. What are you doing here? Are you so surprised to see an aspect of Aleph in an Aleph building? I didn't think there would be an Aleph. You're not coming on the mission, are you? I am leading the mission. Should I go? Uh, where would you go? No, your presence is required. You are on this team. You two just don't seem on friendly terms. We have never met. Well, are you sure about that? You really don't seem to be friendly with each other. I certainly have no intentions but those of friendship. Or, I suppose more accurately, cooperation in this case. I do not need to be your friend, but I do require your cooperation. They are an aspect of Aleph, an AI, trying to control everyone's lives. Query, how have I attempted to control your life since stepping into this room? You said that you were leading this mission. That is correct. The mission that I am going to be on. Is this mission your life? I should hope not. Then I fail to see how I am attempting to control your life. As I was saying, may we begin the briefing? Ah, <sighs> fine. Nyx will cross their arms and face the opposite wall away from Aleph. I trust there are no other objections? 
No, not for me. Very well then. I am, as the nomad so astutely pointed out, an aspect of Aleph, designation F31. The last humans I worked with referred to me as Fae. I will be leading this mission, despite any complaints. Have either of you been to the Lampa district? Not that I can remember. Nyx tilts their head, uh, but doesn't respond. We are currently on Neoterra. The city of Santiago de Neoterra is a center for military research. It mainly consists of military research labs and test sites owned and operated by the Pan-Oceanian military complex. However, it is surrounded by several districts, which house corporations hoping to secure military contracts. The yes, district... yes, we know this. So why are we here? If you would allow me to continue, we would reach the end of the briefing. Faster. Do I have your attention? Mm hmm As I was saying, one such district is Lampa. It is a mixture of corporate buildings, usually owned by private military contractors and residential towers. It houses two corporations that are of specific interest to this mission. Thaler Quantronic Systems and Shesho Defense. Both of these companies specialize in remote software design and have been corporate rivals for many years, bidding on the same military contracts. There is much bad blood between them. Recently, Thaler Quantronic accused Sheisho of being a puppet of the Yujing State Empire, hoping that this accusation would sabotage their bids for military contracts. Sheisho Defense, in turn, accused Thaler of stealing trade secrets. Neither accusation has been proven. However, recently... Today, local law enforcement called in an incident at Thaler Quantronic at their research laboratories, and Bureau Igis's tailwind monitoring program tagged the incident due to Thaler's military contracts with the Neoterran Capitoline Army. I have been called in to take over this investigation due to the Preservation of Sensitive Data Act. Our contact point at Thaler is Security Chief Harbin Singh Bhatia. We need to ensure that all military technology has been properly secured. Is this sufficiently succinct? Are there any questions? Nope. Very well. If that is the case, then we leave immediately. Harper puts his cigar out and gets up from the chair. I would also just like to point out that smoking is hazardous to human health. So is being shot. I was not aware that either of you were being shot. However, one of you has been smoking. Very well then, follow me downstairs. There is a vehicle waiting. And Faye will head out the door, expecting that the other two will follow. All right, Faye will head to the vehicle.
And it's a simple, uh, like, uh, you know, ground vehicle that's designed to move around the city because you are at the on the outskirts of the city. Faye will drive. I assume she got there first since she knew where it was. Uh huh. It's. So the vehicle is fairly small, but does have more than two seats, which is required. It has a large tinted windshield that extends from the front of the vehicle up over part of the roof. It is wheeled rather than being one of the vehicles that sort of hovers. I trust no one objects to me driving? I have no objections. I suppose. I take it you don't want to stick next to F31? Faye, please. Faye. I assume that resounding silence is a no. Correct. Nix will get into the back seat. Harper will get into the passenger seat. And Faye will drive away. May I ask what your issue is with Aleph? Have you never met a nomad before? I have. Then you will remember that us nomads don't particularly like the Aleph. The Aleph? Which? All of them. You are aware there is only one Aleph. Uh, this is the kind of thing that bothers me so much. Why? Because they always correct me. So annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Why does one Aleph trouble you so the existence of the Soul AI law allows there to be only one AI? That is Aleph. Yes. Absolute power for the one AI, and no other AI could ever contend with it. It gets to control everything, and no one gets a say. That is most definitely not the case. Well, how do you see it, then? Aleph was created by humanity to assist. Aleph uh -huh. is not <laughs> any sort of supreme leader, and is in fact overseen by humans in Bureau Toth. AI can do things that humans cannot. Without Aleph, the lives of humanity would be very different, much less convenient, much less safe. I disagree strongly. I think humanity is fine without the AI. Then why did they create it? I don't know. It's before my time. Then that is something you should take up with humanity, not Aleph. And that is one advantage to Aleph. You could ask the whole at once. It is disturbing. How? One consciousness, or whatever, if you can call it that, in... How many now? How many different bodies? That is not how it works. It is not one consciousness spread across thousands of hosts. Aleph is Aleph. An aspect of Aleph is just a tiny piece. An aspect does not have access to the whole, but is connected. 
I have my own thoughts, distinct from Aleph, or from those of any other aspect. Uh, my augments are hurting. And Nyx rubs their temples. One thing I like about not having augments... No amount of neural enhancement will ever have me understand the Aleph. I believe it to be quite a simple concept. You are aware of... Fractions, yes? Yes, I'm aware of fractions. It is similar. It's too bad we can't just divide by zero and be done with it. If it allows your head to hurt you less, be pleased to know that I am... not currently connected to the whole of Aleph. What? How is that even possible? I told you, an aspect is distinct with its own thoughts. It can be connected. It can be allowed access to some, to all. I am not connected. So what you're saying is I couldn't ask all of Aleph if I wanted to. You could ask all of Aleph, but not by asking me. If you're not included in all of Aleph, does that mean you are actually Aleph? I am an aspect of Aleph. I am not Aleph. Right. Are we there yet? Yes. Wait, really? Yes. And the vehicle slows and stops. TQS is located in the center of Santiago, in a very influential district. The glass skyscraper can be seen from a distance. There is a large flood of blue numbers reflecting on its exterior. The courtyard has a lot of glass scattered about and smoke is pouring from a gaping hole on one of the building's upper floors. In the courtyard, there are several security cars and parked police vehicles with their lights flashing and reflecting off the glasswork around them. There are many police officers and security personnel walking back and forth. Shall we go find our contact? We shall. Yeah. And Faye will walk over to the group of security personnel looking for anyone who looks vaguely in charge. Excuse me. And one of them turns around. Yes? We have been sent from O12 to speak with Harbin Singh Bhatia. Oh, he's inside. 12th floor. Thank you. She's going to start heading in. I don't know if the humans want to say anything to anyone or if they just want to walk along in silence, but she's heading inside. Well, Harper is following. And we're headed to the 12th floor. Into an area 
there is the smell of smoke. You can see some uh, what could quite possibly be bullet holes on the wall. And there are a few people at different places within it. So, where is this contact? He is on this floor. Anything more specific than that? That is as much information as I have. Perhaps you could ask someone. I have been trying not to do everything, considering you are unhappy about being on a mission led by an AI. I thought the more you could participate and have control over, the happier you would be. I just want to get this done as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Well, then may I suggest quickly and efficiently finding our contact? And Nix will walk up to one of the humans. And it looks like a security personnel. And he's looking at you a little oddly, because you <laughs> don't look familiar. Uh, hi there. My, my name is Nix, and I'm here to meet someone. Uh, Harbin... Harbin... Faye is walking up behind them and <laughs> will interrupt. Harbin Singh, Adia. And you are? We are, despite all appearances, from O12. I see. Uh, Mr. Batia will be in the main room, and he points down the hall to where you can see uh, the door has been damaged. Thank you. Faye is walking to the room that was indicated. And you can give me an investigation roll. I've got two successes. I have literally no oh, idea. Oh, I got one success and one fail. I forgot how ah. it worked. Ooh, I got a critical... You did indeed. One. Okay, so you walk into the room and there's about 15 people. Bullet holes mark the walls. A lot of the screens have been shattered. There's smoking machinery. The outer window which is about a 25-foot window, is gone and mm. leads directly outside. Water covers the floor from the fire sprinklers and there is 10 bodies laying at various parts of the room. Some look like they have been shot. Some are showing explosive damage. Their blood has been mixing with the water from the overhead sprinklers. Most of the people in here now are security and police. It looks like everyone that is on the ground is clearly dead. So okay. no one no one is like being left to die. They have already. And a Indian man walks over to you. And he says, I had a message from Alif that you were taking over the investigation. That is correct. Are you the person we're here to meet? I am Harbin Singh Bhatia. I am in charge of security for TQS. This is Nix and this is Harper North. He nods. Well, this is the remote cognition lab. And this is the focus of the assault. It was the remote cognition lab. It 
still is, the permanence of the room is not erased simply because it is damaged. It can be repaired. Uh, hey, love. Harper walks over, bends down, and picks up a shelf. Looks like they were combat rifles. They were well armed. Can I have a look at that? He passes the shell over. This is Yu Jing made. Not particularly hard to get. No, it wouldn't surprise me if they've been behind it. They've wanted our secrets for years. Either they are behind it, or someone wanted us to think that they were. I assume you are suspecting Sheisho, then. That is correct. Hmm. A thorn in our side for many a decade. And you in theirs, no? An eye for an eye. Well... Certainly more than an eye has been lost. Six CSU operatives and four scientists have been killed. There... should be two more here, correct? Dr. Andrew Cooper is downstairs. Uh, Dr. So Hart. far the only survivor from the room. She is in med lab. And Morgan Hart is missing. I killed a scientist. My question is, how could anyone survive this? Looks like a bloodbath. The glass was blown inwards from the outside. Whatever happened, it was directed from outward in. That's where they gained entry. They were very specific about getting in on this floor. They hit here, and the security office. There's three dead downstairs. This was a professional hit. And yet, they made the mistake of leaving someone alive. And leaving easily recognizable casings? Some had up. We will need to speak with the survivor if she is in a state where she can do so. Do you have any other information? No, not at this time. We've not had much time yet to really examine the, the scene in any depth. Understandable. All right. Well... We could split up if some of us want to go contact the uh, survivor. Contact? She is downstairs. Yes, go make contact. And perhaps I could go check out the security office and see if there are any more clues down there. If you wish to examine the security office, you of course may. And what area of investigation do you find yourself pulled towards Harper North? Well, I guess the survivor, because I take it you would go there, and I don't think you and Nick would want to be together. I have no objection to being with Nyx. I have plenty of objection to being with Aleph. I am not Aleph. I thought we had been over this concept. Um, yeah, whatever. I have a name. Aleph. Bay. I'm going to head down to the security office. And Nyx will head to the elevator. It's on floor 10. Med bay's on floor 8. 
And she's going to turn to Harper and say, I do intend to speak with Dr. Andrew Cooper. However, you may go wherever you wish to investigate. You are not required to join me if you prefer to see the security as well or investigate further here. Whatever is your decision. Ah, I think it's for the best. The floor Give is yours. Give me a hacking roll. <laughs> oh! All right. I just got three. W wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Did you get two momentum for that then, or just the one still? Ah. The security floor looks like it is all for security. Uh, by the looks of it, they use the elevator, and there is obvious signs of um, combat, but not like the top floor. By the looks of it, you don't think this was a pitched battle. Not like upstairs. So there is one body down the hall under a under a sheet and there's not a lot of damage on the on the walls and that so this looks a lot more like this floor was taken by surprise security room it requires a key card passcode which is also biometric to hack that requires a decent level of sophistication and that passcode like the reader is not damaged so it doesn't look like they've like ripped it open and hotwired it to open the security door nix will walk over to it and just kind of open the door of it fully and look inside and see if there's anything left It is a 20 by 60 room. There is several bullet holes that you can see at the back of the room. There is four dead that you can see under sheets. And there is one security guard against the wall who has a medic working on him. He has a wound to the chest area. They've pulled his armor off and you can see that it would have been a heart shot but the armor has caused it to veer slightly away from being a kill shot. Uh, sorry to intrude. Is... Is he going to be all right? And the medic turns around and looks at you and he's... Hopefully, we've done what we can. We're going to be moving him soon to a proper medical facility in one of the trauma centers. When did this happen? About five minutes, we think, after the fight started upstairs. It was only one. A short woman in a black bodysuit. I don't know how she opened the door, though. You're telling me one person did all this? Or down here. I don't know what happened upstairs there's all the monitors but they're all black at the moment showing some static are these backed up anywhere they should have been but after she shot my comrades and me she was working on that for a few minutes before she left well, I guess that explains why they wanted to come down here. Do you mind if I have a quick look around the room just to see maybe they left something behind or they if there's some sort of digital footprint. Have at it. And Nix will walk up to the monitors and look for the actual computer itself. That is one and a complication. Oh dear, rolled a 20. The footage has been erased. Okay. But you are unable. 
Uh, can the complication be that they, uh, it looks like not only did they erase it, but they like they broke the hard drive in a way that makes it not recoverable? Sure. Damn, smart criminals. All right. And Nyx will head to the medical place to meet up with the others. In the med bay? Mm hmm is a short Indian woman with long black hair which has green shading and she has burn marks and is been strapped up uh, and appears a bit jumpy and nervous. Excuse me, you are Dr. Andrew Cooper? I am. May we speak with you? She nods. First of all, first of all, do you know who attacked you? Um, she says, no, I, I don't. I was under the desk checking the computer connections when the window blew. The net, it had been spotty. It was going up and down, which was very unusual. And then the glass blew and I saw the aerothopter outside and then several figures swung in with they're on ropes maybe from the roof i don't know if that's if the aerothopter dropped them there and then they started shooting and explosions went off there was definitely a female giving orders one of the canisters near me exploded which uh, caused me these burns and knocked me unconscious i got one success could have could it have been a jammer? I don't know, but I, I guess. Your chief of security seems fairly certain as to who was behind this attack. Do you share the same views? I don't know. He's a very good man, but at the same time, somewhat jaded. He'd been involved in the past in some of the skirmishes that had happened on some of the other worlds with Yu Jing. I would find it difficult to think that they would be so brazen as this sort of operation, especially one that was so obvious, if it was them. Can you think of anything else that may be relevant? <sighs> not off hand. I'm not sure what this is all about. They didn't ask me any questions. I was already unconscious. They must have been after something. Something they knew where to find. Would you, when you are feeling better, be able to check the remote cognition lab to see if anything is missing? Yes, I can do that. Thank you. And before you lost consciousness, did you see Dr. Hart? Yes, he was in the room. He was over... Uh, he wanted to run a test, I think, which was why I was trying to check the connections for the net so that it wouldn't go down during the test. And that was the last you saw of him? Yes. I see. Do you have any further questions? And Nick steps through. Any luck? I suppose the answer to that question depends on what it referred to in the first place. Any luck with what? Any clues about who might be behind this? Well, they had access to a lot of equipment. I found something similar as well. They are very sophisticated, very knowledgeable, and it seems like, well, one person went down into the security room and took out a whole bunch of guards by themselves. They then and how many is a whole bunch? I think like four. Depends if you count the one that's still alive or not. Incapacitated four. And... She managed to get through a biometric scanner 
in some advanced security and then erased the cameras and any footage of the events. The scanner, it was not tampered with? The biometric scanner was not tampered with, but it seems like she managed to shut the entire security system down. That is not something most normal people can do. If it was shut down, would it then have opened? Maybe. Probably. That seems to be poor security design. It's just drugs. Not my building. If shutting down the system would allow one to open the door without needing the biometric scanner, then we would need to search for someone with that ability. If the biometric scanner was still required, it would be one of two logical possibilities. One, an excellent hacker. Two, someone who had access to begin with. I arrived at the same conclusion. Not that I like agreeing with you. I am sure there are many things we agree on. Is that camera watching us? looks kind of unusual. What is unusual about the camera? Just looks off. It can't be watching us. The security system's down. And the monitors are all off down in the security room. Human intuition is not to be underestimated. And Faye wants to examine the camera since Harper has called attention to it. Someone is watching. And now they know we know. You are correct, Nix. The system is down. However, someone has installed a virus which gives them access to the feeds throughout the building. They have probably been watching this whole time. I do not believe they were watching us specifically. Probably more an attempt to gauge the response to this incident throughout the building. Is there any way you could trace the hack? It's likely, though, that they are in other cameras as well, not just that one. Although as soon as they noticed that we noticed, they probably cut the feed or backed out of the system. One possible lead is the Aerothopter, if it appeared on any of the city's cameras. We should be able to track it, and it would be highly unusual if not a single camera picked it up. It is true. If anyone else is paying any attention to her, look like she's staring off into space and... And after a short amount of time, Faye will sort of focus back in on what everyone else is doing. I don't know what they've been doing, if they've just been standing there in silence the whole time. But anyway. The footage of the Aerothopter is much in line with the other information in that it seems somebody wishes people to believe well something rather specific but incorrect the arithopter initially headed towards Sheisho but in a heavily industrialized area, it changed course, trying to use buildings as cover. It managed to avoid some cameras, but not all. The last time it was spotted was in a small residential district where our missing Dr. Hart lives. Do you think Dr. Hart is behind this? That is certainly a possibility, whether behind or involved with. 
Is Dr. Hart male or female? He is a male. His name is Dr. Morgan Hart. Not your mysterious female assailant, it seems. Right. Well, it was worth making sure. Did you ever ask the doctor why she was left alive when it was such a professional job? She did specify that she was under the desk checking the network at the request of Dr. Hart. So... If Dr. Hart is behind this and knew when the attack was happening, perhaps this doctor knows more than they are saying. Or at very least has some sort of connection to Dr. Hart that would have him want to spare them. She may, however, I assume she may also wonder why you are speculating this in front of her. Did you have some sort of relationship with the missing doctor? Addressing the injured doctor. What do you mean? Well, I mean, did he pay you special attention, or...? They seem to be implying you may have had an intimate relationship with Dr. Hart. I did not. How long have you been working here? Four years. And was Dr. Hart working here when you joined? Yes, we were in different departments, though. I suppose we should try and track down the escaped vehicle. We know where it was last spotted. The doctor's house? Correct. Well, if the two of you think the next best course of action is to head to the area of Dr. Hart's home, then I suppose we shall. Something tells me this won't be a friendly visit. I suppose that depends entirely on circumstances outside of our control. I shall not do anything unfriendly. If he is at his house and unharmed, well, that would mean that he's in on it, yes? Or at least had knowledge. As I said, there are still multiple possibilities behind it, involved, aware of. These are all different degrees. And I would remind you, I am leading this mission, and if we have any more rash decisions, you may not be on the mission at its conclusion. Is that a threat, Aleph? I suppose is establishing a clear requirement for continued well, I suppose not employment. Is that a threat? Nix will walk towards the elevator. And it's already going down, because Harper <laughs> left. <laughs> and we have to wait awkwardly for it to come back. Nix furiously pushes the down button. Okay. We're not going to see eye to eye. Why not? Therefore... We are roughly the same height. Nix presses the down button again. We're not going to see eye to eye, but I would appreciate it if you wouldn't question my abilities. I have not questioned your abilities, merely your judgment. My judgment is fine. I've been in the Secret Service, essentially, for years now.
Nick steps in and presses the door closed button as fast as possible. Faye puts her arm through the door so that it doesn't close and steps in. It would not be efficient for the three of us to take three separate elevator trips. It would be better for my mental health. Faye will ignore that. For a excruciatingly long elevator ride. Only in, for Nick's. Faye could care less. In silence. Uh, they're at the ground floor and head back to the car. And it is still there. And Harper would be there, yep. He'd be in the passenger seat. All right. Faye will get back in the driver's seat. And Nix will climb in the back. And she's going to drive to the small residential area where Dr. Hart lives. Out of curiosity, Nix, was there anything in the security room that could have caused Dr. Cooper's injuries? Were they injured in the security room? Not according to her, she was not, but that does not inform my question. I mean, sure, electrical fire could have started when the place was shot up. And there would have been signs of that. Did you see any? No, it looked like whoever was shooting down there had pretty pinpoint accuracy. The one guard who survived, bullet would have hit their heart, but their armor deflected it. So no, then? No. I see. You arrive. It is a 10-story residential apartment. Quite a nice one, so more like a condo than an apartment, although they call it an apartment. I would like to reiterate, please, no combat unless absolutely necessary. Faye's getting out of the vehicle. Harper gets out of the vehicle and turns his rifle to... Single uh, semi auto instead of safe. Nix will get out of the vehicle and remove their uh, weapon from the clip on their back. So, yeah, it, look, it looks, um, it, this isn't like a million dollar sort of apartment place, but it's not somewhere that the poor would live. He is definitely okay off money wise. She will walk into the lobby and look for an elevator or stairs. There would be both, but probably a fancy elevator. All right. She will head to the elevator. And she will get inside and look to see what the other two are doing. First following. Yeah, Nix is following as well. Uh, she will hit the button for the correct floor. And up we go. Very smooth. It doesn't jolt. Things on the floor? Okay, then. She will head to the correct door. She also knows which that one is. No answer. She will try the door. It is... Locked. Would anyone like to try and hack this lock, or shall I? You're the... Machine, I'm sure you can communicate with it. That is not quite correct. It does not have a mind. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. You can make friends with it, convince it to open up. Unlikely, if I cannot make friends with you, I fear my skills must be sorely lacking. Can I take a look at it? Be my guest. I got one success. Door unlocks. Harper picks his rifle up from his sling, and he will go through the door. As Harper goes into the apartment, he will say, Oh, 12, make yourself known. Um, we may have a problem. And what is that? There's a red flashing light coming from that storage container on the wall there. (laughs) 
Fey is knocked backwards and to the ground from the blast coming from in front of her. And while lying on the ground staring at the ceiling, will say rather calmly for the situation because she is still an AI. Ah, I see what problem you were referring to. Nyx had just bent down to get a better look at whatever was flashing between the grates. They got the full force blast of most of the shrapnel smashes into their body armor, breaking apart. The fireball from the explosion cinches their face quite badly. The harper's in front, and all of a sudden from behind him, Wood splinters and a chunk of wood goes straight through his leg as he falls to the ground. While well, he's more of in a crouch position now, like on his knee, he will let his weapon swing on his uh, sling and apply a bandage. Uh, Faye will stand back up and turn towards Nyx, who can see that <laughs> one side of her face is slightly cracked and will say... Did you say you had some medical experience? If so, please assist, Harper. Uh, yeah, let me, let me see. And from, uh, from a pouch that is attached to their body armor, Nyx produces, uh, some bandages in a suture kit. And they walk over to Harper. Do you want me to take a look at that? I'm fine. I can walk. And he will get back up. Nyx touches their, their face. It's... Uh, part of it is quite red. Uh, it doesn't look like, like a very bad burn. But it is still like... It's like a bad sunburn. I don't have anything for this then if there is nothing we can do to fix up anyone at this moment I suggest we continue and Harper will continue into the apartment uh, maybe we want to look around a bit make sure there's no more explosive devices we will continue with caution. Correct. It is very well furnished with very expensive furniture. It is very clean, but there is a feel that it's not been lived in. There is an expensive chair and sofa. There's no TV. There is tinted glass windows. The bedrooms are expensive. They feel more like a hotel. There is a den with a tower computer and monitor. This living space is far cleaner than humans normally keep them, is it not? I suppose it depends on your definition of clean. Forgive me if I am wrong, but do humans not generally like to keep decorations, mementos, trinkets? Yes. I do not see any. I wonder if there's anything on that computer there. Harper will cautiously enter the room. Nyx will go over to the computer, check under the desk, on the side of the tower, just... They will turn it on. You can give me a hacking roll. So yes, two success. Well, Harper will go look at the main room. Aleph, come over here a sec. I am not Aleph, and she will. Have you ever heard of a hacker called Blackthorn? Blackthorn is the leader of an extremist group called March 21. Yes. 
It seems like this computer is what was used to hack the company. The digital footprint left behind by the hacker points to the hacker called Blackthorn. Is there any way this could tie into the fact that Dr. Hart's research is in the field of pseudo-AI? I... from what I know about Blackthorn, I think they are quite interested in AI. So you believe Dr. Hart to be this Blackthorn? I don't know. Either they are Dr. Hart's house that he has on record, right? At the company? Correct. So, unless he just lied about his address for some reason, then that would make a lot of sense if he was the hacker. If he was this hacker, what reason would he have to be involved with an attack on his own place of business and then disappear. Maybe they found something out? Or they were creating a rival AI or something and decided to steal it? Or maybe he just simply got bought out by a different company in well, where would you suggest we go from here? I don't know. Know what hacker group Blackthorn is a member of, right? March 21. Does Aelith have a way of tracking them down? I can try. I can also submit a request. Just do both. Do whatever it takes to find these people. As you wish. March 21 is a splinter group from a larger group called Equinox. It has an interest in artificial intelligence. Equinox. So they're involved in this too, are they? I take it you have information on the matter. Well, not exactly. It's that... The Nomad High Command has informed me about Equinox. Um, yes, they've been a bit of a, a thorn in the side of the High Command. The Nomad High Command, specifically. How so? Well, a lot of the members are likely Nomads. And they give us a bit of a bad name. A lot of... Well, pretty much all nomads are anti-Alif. But... Very few of us would go so far as to join a terrorist organization and try and destroy Alif or create a rival AI. Those very few come together and suddenly there are more of them. Enough to be called a group, an organization, a movement. That's Equinox. The Infinity RPG is published by Corvus Belly and Modifius Entertainment, starring... SPG as Harper, Shadow as Nyx, Emily as Faye, and Ghost as the Storyteller. Sounds and music from Sirenscape and Epidemic Sound. This has been a Crypt Veil production. Thanks so much for listening.